Number 52. Calculate the number of moles and the mass of the solute in each of the following solutions. And then we have letter B. So in this case, they gave us 75.0 mils or 75 milliliters. And this is of a 2.2 times 10 to the negative fifth molarity solution of sulfuric acid, H2SO4. And this is a sample of acid rain. Makes sense, right? Acid rain, H2SO4 is an acid. Okay. So they gave us a volume, right? Milliliters is a type of volume, and they gave us a molarity. Always remember, guys, capital M is molarity. So there's two ways that we could do this, right? There's a formula, right? And But sometimes the formula is molarity equals, right? This case, we don't want to find the molarity. We want to find moles, right? They gave us the molarity. So there's an easy trick to use. I'll show you it. It's this triangle chart right here. Now, if you write yours down, it doesn't have to be as colorful as mine. The only thing that just has to get across is that it is a triangle. You have to put a T in the middle, and then the units are capital M, which is molarity, on the bottom left, moles are up on the top, and liters. These three units are um, what's like a ratio with each other, okay? So if we're talking about molarity, it has to be with moles and liters, no other units. So let's see, is there anything that I have already that they gave us? Well, they gave us a molarity. So I have this number. But I need liters here. They gave me milliliters. So the first thing that I have to do is I have to convert the 75.0 mils into liters. This is going way back into the chemistry class. Like one of the first things that, you know, they teach you is to convert your SI units. So I just put like a little trick down here. Just know that the difference or, you know, the multiplying and dividing between a milliliter or anything that's milli to its base unit, and in this case, it's the liter, is always by a thousand. Okay. So in this case, we're starting off with mils and we want to get to liters. So I'm starting off with mils and I need to get over here. So I'm going this way. So all I have to do is just take my milliliter value and, whoop, and basically divide it by 1000. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my 75.0 and divide by a thousand. Similarly, you can take your decimal that you have in your original number and just move it to the left three times and fill in uh, the like the little place markers with zeros. So either way, this would be 0 0.075 liters. And these numbers are equivalent to each other. 75 milliliters is equivalent or the same as 0 0.075 liters. So now we have this number. So we have two out of the three variables. We can solve for the other one. And that's what we want. They wanted us to calculate the moles. Now, how do we use this chart? Well, whichever one you're searching for, and in this case, we're searching for the moles, you're going to hover over with your thumb if you drew this on a piece of paper. So I'm going to say, okay, I'm looking for the moles. And this is going to equal, I'm going to hover over that unit. So if I hover over it, I don't see it anymore. And do you see how the molarity and the liters are on the same we'll say same tier, right? They're on the bottom tier. They're interacting with this divider right here. Since they're on the same tier, this stands for multiplication. However, if you were going from top to bottom, that's division. Okay. So in this case, moles equals molarity times liters. And now all we have to do is just solve. The moles of the solute, in this case, it's H2SO4, is the molarity, I'm just going to put the numbers in, but you can put the units in as well. And then times the liters, 0 0.075. And here we go. The moles of the solute, H2SO4, would be 2.2 times 10 to the negative fifth times 0 0.075. And if we're rounding with sig figs, there's a minimum of two sig figs here, right? This one has two and this one has three. Technically, I should have added 
a zero at the end here to signify three sig figs, and I'll do the same over here. But still, our answer would be two sig figs, so 1.7 times 10 to the negative 6. And that's the moles of H2SO4. Okay, first part done. Now, they want us to find the mass, right? They're both quantity values, but just different units. This is telling me how many moles I have. Now I just need to find the actual mass of it. And remember, the unit of mass is a gram value, right? So kilogram, gram, they're specifically looking for grams here. So here's the little trick here if we don't want to do dimensional analysis. We just found out the moles, and I put X here to label that it could be any compound or any element. I just found out the moles, and I have to get to grams of the same compound or element, right? The X goes with the X. So if I'm starting at moles and I'm going to grams, I'm going this way. So all I have to do is multiply by the molecular weight. Well, where is the molecular weight, right? Remember, this is the number on the periodic table. So I have to go and find it. So let's find out the molecular weight of our compound, which is H2SO4. We've done tons of problems getting molecular weights or molar masses or molecular masses. They all mean the same. The, you know, the tricky part of this is just make sure you have two hydrogens and four oxygens and one sulfur. So you have to take that into consideration when you're doing your mass. I'm going to get the exact number. You can round your numbers on the periodic table. Let's just see if our answers come pretty close to each other. So I have hydrogen, right? I have two of them and I need to add a sulfur which is roughly 32, and I have an oxygen, I have four of them. So my weight comes out to be 98.076, and that's gram per mole. Ooh, that's ugly. That's ugly. Let's see, mole. Eh, okay. So now, what did we say? We take the mole that we had, times it by the molecular weight, and I will get grams. So the moles is 1.7, times 10 to the negative 6, and all I got to do is multiply by the molecular weight that was found on the periodic table, 98.076, and that's going to be the grams. If I keep the units in here, right, this was a mole value, I'm multiplying by a molecular weight, which is units of grams per mole, and look what happens. The moles... One's on top, one's on the bottom. They cancel. That's why you're only used with the unit of grams. So let's do it. 1.7 times 10 to the negative 6 times the molecular weight. And two sig figs. So I'll round and say 1 point. Ooh, oh boy. Hold up, guys. 1.7 times 10 to the negative 4th. And that's in the unit of grams now of H2SO4. So a very, very, very small amount of grams because we had a very, very, very small amount of moles because we had a very low molarity. So they're all interchanged with each other. They're all related. Okay, that's it, guys. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments what you thought. Click the like button. It just makes us know that, you know, we're doing our job right if this helped you out. And if you want to help us out, you can tell your friends about this wonderful service. Uh, it's free. And, you know, we have physics videos and math videos. And also subscribe to the channel if you like, okay? Love you guys. You guys rock. I'll see you all in the next lesson. Bye-bye.